Hello again, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video kind of going through um, my product here. So, oops, sorry, uh, over here I have multiple different things that I got going on. I got a, a voice signal um, button that'll replay my voice. Um, <coughs> I have a modulated signal, so this will end up modulating the a uh, waveform for the, the recording of my voice, and then um, I got a record button here that will record my voice, and then I also have a demodulation, which should bring us back to the original signal. Um, but I was actually kind of having some trouble getting the correct uh, FC of our carrier frequency. Uh, so uh, another thing I also wanted to point out that I found kind of interesting was that the I used a very low frequency or for the carrier um, or for the carrier signal. So um, when you listen to this, it, it'll actually kind of sound uh, much like a, a lot of voice modulators that you can find that uh, a lot of actors will use or 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 people that are trying to hide their voice, that kind of thing. Uh, it kind of made me think of Star Wars, to be honest. So uh, let's 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 run this. So in the MATLAB application, I actually created another uh, GUI for this. Um, I got a record, uh, the voice signal. I got a clear, got the modulated. I got another clear, just if we wanted to, and then I have a demodulation as well. So let's do a recording. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. So we can see we got the, the magnitude spectrum, uh, double-sided magnitude spectrum of uh, our voice signal. And then when we listen to the modulated signal, we'll see some, some differences here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna play that again. Kind of, it kind of reminds me of the classic Star Wars. But uh, the main thing I wanted to point out here is the fact that um, since our carrier frequency, we're, we're adding another... Um, sorry about the Discord. We're adding another... Um, another... Uh, sorry, man. I am blanking on what this is called. Aha. We're adding another frequency component, which is why we have uh, double the peaks here. You can see there's a peak that's right here. I'll actually zoom this in. We have a peak that's right here. Then we have two peaks that are right here. Uh, we can also find two other peaks here, two other, pe or two other peaks here. We have two main peaks here, and, and for our modulated signal we got four, and then same on the other side. So that's really because we, we're adding more frequency components when we have a carrier frequency. And it, it makes sense that um, our modulated signal doesn't sound exactly like um, the recorded one um, because of those added frequency components. Um, the last thing that I wanted to do is do the demodulation. Unfortunately for this one, I could not seem to properly figure out the demodulation function that we have. So you can tell that some of the beats are there and you can see that some of these peaks are correct. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But it looks almost as if it's inverted here. So it really seems like we need to do some kind of shifting of this to the right and shifting of this to the left. And uh, using the demodulation function over here, right here, um, I'm really not sure if it does that appropriately or not. But, uh, that is my project so far. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.